I'm Paul Brown. I'm with Lester Consultants, and I've also been uh, interim CEO of law firms, uh, COO, CFO in Adel Shores and Pinsons, and I've been working as a consultant. Also done a lot of culture change, going right back to doing it for Barclays. I think we had 45,000 people on that one. So what we're going to start off by doing is say, firstly, what is culture? It's about the, the unwritten rules of operation, which are never fully written out, spelled out in a written constitution, but how it operates, how people talk to each other, their values, the way people get promoted, the way they get rewarded and recognized, but not rewarded and not recognized. It's also, on the negative side, what people tolerate. If it's some cultures tolerate quite bad behavior, I've seen some examples of very dollar-focused um, law firms that leave a trail of broken and battered bodies behind it. I mean, there's an old saying that, you know, culture eats strategy for breakfast. And it's, it's true. It, it's the sort of thing that if you get it wrong, it can destroy a merger because the two cultures are antithetical and will just beat each other up. So four key components. Power. You know, how is power used? How are decisions made? Are they made centrally? Are they made collectively? And so forth. Flexibility. How does a law firm change according to circumstances? Is it agile? Is it really looking for new opportunities in the market? Or is it stuck in its ways and it's put in a position where it has great difficulty changes? Collegiality. Do people really work together as partners? Or do they get together once a year for the partner conference and then roll off in different directions like KWM did and they, they fell over? And dire direction. Is there a clear strategic plan? Or is it made up on the spot and random? And is it under, what are the core values that underpin all this and provide that corporate glue? So what are the contexts? Because we're talking about moving from a partnership to a corporate culture. Firstly, the environment. We're talking, we have an environment that is fast moving, it's unpredictable. We have emerging economies that are going to be with the largest economies in the world, such as India, I believe. Um, you've got global situations, inflation, geopolitical conflict, very difficult to predict. So you've got people saying, well, do we need swifter and faster decisions? And we talked about earlier today about the LLP model and its focus on short-termism, the focus on this year's PEP, as opposed to investing for the longer term. We've also got new business models coming in. We've got venture capital, we've got private equity. And um, if you've ever sat around a board table with a law firm owned by venture capitalists, it's a very different experience to the partnership table. The venture capital dri people driving change very fast to a set people often feel uncomfortable with. You've got corporate models. They are organized on a, not as a normal corporate board. It's set up, it takes corporate decisions, and the lawyers, many of whom are consultants, are, don't have a decision-making say in that. And you've got models like Knights and so forth. So multitude of different models on that. But what I see, LLP is being incredibly agile over a 12-month period, but over the longer term, struggling to make those longer value creation decisions. So that's what culture is, why it's important, and some of the key components.